Hello friends, today we are going to talk about muscles of back of thigh. First of all, what is a muscle? A muscle is a band or a bundle of fibrous tissues in a human or animal body that has ability to contract, producing movements or maintaining the positions of the parts of the body. So here we are going to discuss about semimembranous muscle. Semimembranous muscle is so named because it has a flat tendon of origin. It lies posterior medially in the thigh deep to semi tendinosus. Now we will talk about the origin of semimembranous muscle. Semimembranous muscle starts from the superior lateral impression on the upper part of ischial tuberosity. Now the insertion of semimembranous muscle is into the groove on the posterior surface of medial condyle of the tibia and also expansions from the tendon form the oblique popliteal ligament and the fascia covering the popliteus. The nerve supply of semitendinosus muscle. The nerve supply of semitendinosus muscle is given by tibial part of sciatic nerve and the nerve roots are L5, S1 and S2. Actions of semimembranous muscles. Semimembranous muscles is chief flexor of knee. As you can see in the figure, it helps in the flexion of knee. It also acts as medial rotator of the leg in semi-flexed knee. For example, in football, while passing the ball, we can see in figure that our knee is semi-flex and the leg is medially rotated. Semimembranous muscle is a weak extensor of the hip. At the end, I hope you know about the origin, insertion, nerve supply and actions of semimembranous muscles. Thank you for listening.